Hello there everyone and welcome to Dangerously, my channel. Uh, it's wonderful to have you all here if, uh, if you're joining me for the first time. Um, basically, as we all know and have heard over the last few weeks, uh, we will be officially returning to Monkey Island this year, finally. Who would have thought, actually, in the year 2022? Who would have thought at all that we were going to be returning to Monkey Island? Considering Disney now owns pretty much everything in the world, uh, including the series Monkey Island. Um, but as we all know, or some of us know, on the 1st of April, Ron Gilbert dropped the... Uh, I suppose you could call it an April Fool's joke in a way, because that's how I took it anyway, certainly when I saw it. Um, even though he historically hates April Fool's Day and everything it stands for, um, he announced that he is making another Monkey Island game currently at this very moment, and it will be uh, releasing in 2022. And of course then it was corroborated finally on April the 4th. But I, I woke up that morning not, not knowing, basically, that the April Fool's joke that he made um, wasn't an April Fool's joke at all. And I remember seeing some posts somewhere then with the uh, the trailer, which I did a reaction to here on the channel. And I I couldn't... I actually started weeping. Uh, like, I, start, I started crying, like, at the announcement because... Monkey Island is just such a, it holds such a special place in many people's hearts, but it, and especially in mine, because it was the second game I ever played, funnily enough, that's the second biggest game I ever played, was Monkey Island 2 when I was a kid. I'd say I must have been only three, maybe four years old at that stage, on our old family computer, and uh, that's it. That that was it for me, really, you know. Who, do, who doesn't love Guybrush as a character and the world that he inhabits? But anyway, so I'm going to be playing through the entire series of Monkey Island, and I uh, hope you join along on the ride. Um, I'm going to try to keep it kind of... Like, it's a, it's a big playthrough for me because I've only kind of played these games... I haven't played these games in about 10 plus years, basically. So this is my first time for me returning to Monkey Island as well in such a long time, and I'm really excited to play through these games because, you know, you, you forget a lot of the things in the game in a way when you when you haven't been there for so long so the puzzles and a lot of screens and stuff will be uh, completely gone out of my mind but anyway so i'm going to try to keep it kind of interesting with a bit of history about the game and a bit of trivia as i play of what i know anyway certainly from the years of being a, a fairly diehard fan of the monkey island series um so i'm going to just give you a little background about monkey island if you've never heard about monkey island before for some reason i don't know why you would have clicked on this video but uh Obviously, a lot of people that would be watching this video would know a lot about it, so some of this information won't be new to you. But uh, I think it'll be nice to kind of give a small bit of information about the game before we start up here. And I kind of want to talk about what my plans for this series playthrough is. So, um, Monkey Island itself, the secret of Monkey Island, was the first game in the series. And it was released in 1990. Um, it was released on everything from MS-DOS... It was released on uh, old Mac platforms, so classic o Mac OS basically, uh, the Atari ST, very weird platform over in Japan called the FN Towns it was also on, quite an interesting one to check out if you haven't seen it before. Uh, of course, I couldn't forget the Amiga platforms, uh, a lot of people over here in Europe in particular, um, in particular sorry, had uh, Amiga platforms and a lot of people would actually kind of nearly argue with you that the Amiga versions are the best versions. Now, I don't know, we could have an argument about that, but uh, look, it is a great platform and it certainly introduced a lot of people to the game. Um, the final platform it was released on, funnily enough, was a console, Sega CD, which introduced a lot of people to the series because you've got to remember... Back in the days of older computers, they were extremely expensive and a lot of people didn't have them. We were one of the lucky few, I suppose. Um, my my dad actually worked with computers as he grew up, so he kind of needed a computer at home and shortly after we took it over. Well, it was him that introduced us to the game, so I don't know about that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it was released by Lucasfilm Games, of course, which was owned and run by the venerable George Lucas himself 
And funnily enough, I didn't make that connection. I was a big fan of like Indiana Jones and I was a big fan of uh, Star Wars. I didn't actually make that connection until I was much older. I just thought LucasArts, because that, when I knew it, it was LucasArts, of course, it was Lucas, Lucasfilm Games before, and it is Lucasfilm Games now again. But uh, I never made that connection, funnily enough. Um, so the game was kind of reasonably heavy, ba heavily based on a book by Tim Powers called On Stranger Tides. Um, it's a good read. I actually do have a copy of it myself, and uh, I do recommend reading it if you are a fan of the uh, the series. And um, also, it was uh, quite heavily based on, funnily enough, the Disneyland ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, if you have never heard of that, Pirates of the Caribbean, the film series, is actually based on this ride at Disneyland. And... Uh, the creator of The Secret of Monkey Island used to regularly go to Disneyland and he really enjoyed the um, feeling and atmosphere of the Disneyland ride um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So he very much pushed that into the game. Speaking of the creator himself, uh, the wonderful and um, renowned Ron Gilbert was at the helm, a writer, director, programmer as well. Uh, he was a programmer originally hired for uh, Lucas in Lucasfilm games and he created uh, what is known as the scum engine which ran pretty much all of the point and click adventures from the Lucasfilm lineup before they moved into the 3D stage. Um, he was joined in writing and programming duties uh, by the wonderful Tim Schafer of course who runs Double Fine and has had many many hit games himself over the years including Full Throttle and Psychonauts and uh, one of the kind of head honchos over at Telltale, Telltale Games before it kind of all fell apart unfortunately I know they are kind of half back now but um, we had Dave Grossman David Grossman as well and basically they were the three writers if you want Ron, Tim and David and basically they did a small bit of programming within the scum engine funnily enough they were called I think scumlets when they joined the team because they had to learn how to use um, the programming language for SCUM, uh, the SCUM system rather. So they were joined in the music department by uh, quite, a, I would imagine, quite a, a, a kind of a reclusive man. I don't see very many uh, interviews of him. There's only kind of one modern interview on the internet for you to watch. Um, but Michael Land, and if there's one thing about Monkey Island that sticks out like a sore thumb, it has to be the wonderful wonderful music which you'll hear some of in the background as i'm speaking away um it's it's iconic and i actually think that the theme tune of monkey island might be one of the most iconic main themes in video game history really um wonderful wonderful piece of music and he kind of took influence from a lot of old pirate shanties and stuff um which I will talk a bit more about as I'm playing the game and stuff like that. So they were joined on art in the art department by Mark Ferrari, uh, who did a lot of the backgrounds, actually the background art for the Monkey Island series. And he also worked on games like Loom. Um, this guy is like, he has a, co a couple of videos. He's after kind of coming out of the woodwork and started to be interviewed more regularly now. He did a, a, is a GDC, he did a GDC talk, um, which I will try to link down in the description about 8-bit-ish art and 8-bit art. And this guy, I think, is a genius, in, in like an absolute genius in the, the field of, um, in the field of like pixel art. I really think he brought it to the next level. He started out as an illustrator, I believe um uh for for like fantasy books and fantasy art in general definitely check out some of his stuff here's some on screen now like that's pixel art yeah i know you're looking at it and you're thinking to yourself there's no way in holy hell that that's pixel art but it is uh, like each one of those individual pixels was literally laid by hand i think the art is like some of the best pixel art out there in the world and imagine if you if he continued, or imagine pixel art stayed on for a bit longer before we went over to 3D, and we had guys like him working on, you know, any games, background background art for any games. Look at that! How moody and class is that? Imagine that now in something like Final Fantasy six or seven. You know, if they didn't go fully 3D with seven, you know, and had that type of art, um, I think it's unbelievable, and I cannot 
recommend you checking out Mark Ferrari's talk on uh, what his take on pixel art is. Um, very interesting man. Very, very incredible pixel artist in my opinion. So along with uh, Mark Ferrari, we actually had a guy called Steve Purcell as well. Uh, Steve Purcell actually did the cover art that you see above me um, for The Secret of Monkey Island and he actually did the cover art as well for um, Monkey Island 2, Le Chocs Revenge, which is a very, uh, very striking box art. He's actually the creator of two characters you might know of called Sam and Max. And furthermore, uh, he did quite a lot of the sprite art and he did a quite a lot of the uh, item, the inventory items. But of course now, um, I'll talk a bit more about the version of Mon Secret of Monkey Island that I'm going to be playing and a few of the different versions that exist. But uh, of course there wasn't item art in the original release of The Secret of Monkey Island. So finally on a small bit of uh, programming duties and a couple of other... And a couple of other different things, uh, we had Eric Wilmunder as well. Now, there was about 12 or 15 people working on the original game between testers and, and other different aspects of the game. But the original release, the 1990 release of the EGA Monkey Island, Secret of Monkey Island 1, uh, was... That, per, to me, they're the guys. They're the guys that made the game. These, these kind of seven individuals really were the people that were the most heavily involved in the original release of the game um of course there are there there will be credits at the very start of the game so you can see some of the other names as well but like if i if somebody was to ask me at gunpoint who are the guys that made monkey island and basically made it happen um i really point to these guys as the guys that made it happen more or less so anyway, uh, we're going to move on a little here and uh, we're going to start to talk a little bit about how I'm going to be playing the games and um, in what order and stuff like that. So I'm going to be playing on Scum VM and the reason that I'm going to be doing this is because it's just easier to get everything kind of into one system. It's easier to record for me and things like that. I do actually have uh, old systems that would run these games in their original forms and I actually do actually own box copies, uh, big box copies of all the games as well, so I would actually be able to play them on their original platforms. But um, I think for the sake of ease of recording these videos, I'm going to stick with ScumVM. And ScumVM, like if you're looking for a way to play any of the original Monkey Island games, or any kind of nearly any point and click game really, from even Sierra and stuff, I think they started bringing in. And uh, I think they even support like the original Grim Fandango now and, uh, and games like that. Uh, the Scum VM team are like, these are the guys that keep, they kept the games alive really for people over the last um, over the last ten or fifteen years really. You know, I can't remember exactly when Scum VM started, but uh, definitely check out Scum VM if you're looking to play the game, the, any of the games really, um, because it's the easiest and quickest way to play them. You can download them on sites like GOG and you can download them on Steam and things. I think uh, some of the games might be free at the moment on Amazon Prime. That obviously will change uh, in the future, but. Uh, yeah, uh, it's the easiest way to play the games, definitely, and um, they support all versions, so you can even play like the Amiga version, you can play the Atari ST version, etc. I'm not sure if Sega CD is actually um, covered as well, but maybe, who knows. Um, I will, however, though, be playing on my lovely, lovely glow of a CRT, which I have currently right in front of me. So, basically, what's going to happen is... I'm going to be playing the first kind of two, maybe three games on this CRT. And the reason is, is because I haven't played the games in so long and I kind of want to play them as close as I can to how I would have originally played them back in the day. Of course, flat screen technology didn't really come into prevalence until, you know, late 90s, if even, like, you know, early 2000s, 2003, 2004, we still had CRT TVs, like, in my house anyway, right up until 2006 or 7, before they kind of all went belly up and, uh, you know, we moved on to the flat panels of today. I was thinking maybe playing them on my, uh, rather overkill 65-inch LG OLED, but, uh, I think, I one, I don't want to get any, uh, potential burn-in on, um, on that TV because that can be an issue. I'm very careful owner mind you, but uh, I'm going to be playing on a lovely Dell as you see here uh, CRT. I did have some trouble getting it running with mic and there was buzzing and stuff like that But it's all pretty much fixed now 
So, um, I'm going to give you the roadmap here as to where I'm going to be, how I'm going to be playing these games and what order I'm going to be playing the games and kind of why and stuff like that. So of course we're going to start off with The Secret of Monkey Island 1990 and I'm going to be playing the original EGA release. The reason I'm playing the original EGA release, which is a 16 color game, is because any podcast interview I've ever heard with Ron Gilbert and some of the other teams. Uh, Thimbleweed Park has a great podcast which is really worth checking out if you're a fan of point and clicks and if you're a fan of game design in general. But uh, on that podcast and on several other interviews I've heard over the years, um, they all say that the EGA version of Secret of Monkey Island is the kind of definitive edition of the game. Um, it is missing the sprite art, so I don't know if that'll make it harder for me. Like, I, I think I have played the EJ version years ago, but um, it's the original art, and it was created. The, all the background arts, well, the majority of the background arts will be done by Mark Ferrari, and it, that guy is able to make 16 colors look like, you know, way more because he kind of forced Ron Gilbert into allowing dithering in the um, scum VM uh, that's just something at a technical term to look up if you if you haven't heard of it as, uh, uh, before um, it's kind of checkerboard pattern to make a third or fourth color you know by mixing two colors together incredibly interesting but the game will look even better on a CRT than it would on a standard screen here um, so then we're going to make our way over to of course Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge which I can't wait to play as well. It was the first game in the series I played. It's it's what introduced me to it. It's what made me fall in love with it. And I'll be playing the um, uh, the MS DOS version of that, which basically is the one I know, the one that I played when I was a young kid. So I'm going to be making my way over then to 1997's The Curse of Monkey Island. I'm actually really looking forward to playing this. Uh, it's some people. It's a little divisive for some people because they change the art style so much. But I truly love the art style and I grew up playing these games. It obviously was the first game with voice acting um, included and of course like people like Earl Bone for LeChuck himself and uh, Dominic Armato is iconic as uh, Guybrush. Uh, I don't think you could have more perfectly cast Guybrush's voice in my opinion. So there's a lot of screens in that game I haven't seen for years and there's a lot of stuff that I'd say has just completely gone out of my head. So like you'll be seeing wide-eyed amusement as I play that. I may play that on my OLED, we'll see, I don't know yet, because the game doesn't have as much static lettering and stuff like that. So we're going to be making a long little trip down here then to the much maligned Escape from Monkey Island from 2000. Another game that causes people a lot of frustration a lot of kind of hatred of it a lot of it's very very divisive in the monkey island community a lot of people think it's the worst game in the series i have to say i don't agree i just don't agree i grew up with it i was i think eight years old when i got the game got it on day one when i was coming out so excited i like the art style i like that it kind of tried out the 3d thing that uh, grim fandango did and i think it did it quite well honestly i think some of the most interesting puzzles in the whole series are actually in escape from monkey island and again, um, I think the comedy is good in it as well. And uh, I'm really looking forward to going back and playing it again because, again, that game is, it's like my mind, in my mind's eye, there's only very few bits of it that I can kind of remember, you know, that kind of way. But, uh, so after that then, we're going to take a kind of long roundabout trip down this direction and we're going to head to... Uh, world pool we'll probably get caught up in a whirlpool and we'll be going round and round and round for many many years and then we're going to take a hard right out and another hard 90 degree right and we're going to land on the tales of monkey island the tales of monkey island for me actually i think it is the um weakest game in the series now i do have a friend uh, my uh good buddy who i used to post a lot of videos over on uh, hit the snake which was another gaming channel we were on um, Patrick, it's Patrick is very fond of it, um, as uh, he'll probably be watching this and laughing now. Um, but I just felt that it kind of wasn't, it didn't capture the same spirit as the other Monkey Island games. Now, me in saying all that, like it still is a Monkey Island game, and for me, I kind of don't hate any of the Monkey Island games because I think they're all. 
they all bring something new to the series and they're all they're, they're like I just want to go on more adventures with Guybrush Threepwood and his team and, and all his friends you know the world is just such a good place to inhabit so to me more Monkey Island isn't a bad thing and I am looking forward to replaying it but I just do remember those first kind of three or four chapters it was very linear you couldn't kind of leave the islands when you wanted I just felt that they, it was missing it was missing a lot you know um, but that last I have to admit and I'm, I'll give it credit where credit is due that last chapter of the Tales of Monkey Island that's a serious that's a serious chapter like that really I think that really captures then what Monkey Island is all about it, it was nearly and I remember there was a big gap wasn't there between the fourth and fifth or something so I think maybe they addressed a lot of maybe fans complaints at that point <clears throat> but uh, again that was a game uh, directed by um, David Grossman I think it had some uh, involvement some small involvement from Ron Gilbert as well as a consultant of course as well I didn't say uh, that The Secret of Monkey Island and uh, Monkey Island 2 came out a year apart so 1990 and 1991 and then Ron Gilbert left the company pretty much to start uh, Humongous Games a uh, child's educa edutainment um, he pretty much coined edutainment I think or came up with edutainment um, a, a genre anyway and uh, of course other people took over the series then and I suppose that's why a lot of these games after Monkey Island 2 are considered by some to not be the kind of true sequels so uh, I'm going to be taking a big long trip then down to the southwest and I'm going to be playing The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition which also released in 2009 along with The Tales of Monkey Island and um, while Guybrush's hair in this particular version is a bit weird, um, I think for the most part it, the art style kind of somewhat captures the... It, up, it obviously updated, makes it more painterly, it kind of updates the pixel art um, aesthetic of it and it includes voice acting of all the lines and uh, redone music which is... the music in it is, is all done by a classical orchestra which is insane. Uh, is amazing. Well, sorry, uh, let me correct myself there. Some of it is uh, uh, sample instruments and quite a lot of it is live instruments as well. I actually can talk a bit more about that when I get there. So then, of course, I'll be taking another trip over here to the east and uh, I'll be landing on Monkey Island 2 Special Edition, which was released in 2010. And basically, like when this released, I remember hearing about it and seeing it on the PlayStation 3 store and just being like oh my god Monkey Island 2 has a remaster I have to play it I have to play it straight away and I remember running out to my dad and saying like oh because I didn't have a, a visa debit or a credit card at the time I was like oh can I please use your credit card to buy this uh, buy this game it, it, I think it was only like 20 quid or something and he was like oh, yeah sure no bother or whatever and uh, yeah, I bought Monkey Island 2 on the PS3 and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience to behold. I think they kind of fixed a lot of the issues with that first special edition. Guybrush looks better and I think the art style in general is, is really nice. But what's nice about those special editions as well, if you didn't know, you can kind of hit a button while you're playing and you can switch between the old art and the new art. So that'll be quite cool to return to and see again. And then finally, finally, we'll be taking a trip all the way to the uh, east where X marks the spot. Indiana Jones was wrong. He, he said X never ever marks the spot, but it certainly marks the spot in this one. We'll all together be returning to Monkey Island. Great logo. What a huge, what a huge thing to, have, to, to happen in the world. That we can actually finally get another brand new Monkey Island game. And I think the reason I'm going for the special editions after I've finished, finished the series is because we've seen some screenshots of the, the art style of the new game and like much of the Monkey Island games, the art style was always kind of a bit different. And they're going obviously for something, again, a little more modern with this, which is I think is totally fine. I think it's a good way to kind of go that you... I think you need to try something creatively new and of course they probably want to try to entice new players into the series which i think will be a good idea but uh yeah i think i'll play those because the special editions beforehand because they kind of the art style isn't the same but there kind of is a similarity between the special editions and what i've seen so far anyway of return to monkey island i'm really excited i am so excited guys i know this intro is a bit longer i there won't actually be these types of intros on the start of every video 
but I think just for the first episode here, um, I'm going to... I just wanted to give you a bit of background. Um, as I said, I haven't played Monkey Island in nearly 10 or 12 years now, so like this is going to be really special for me. I can't, I just can't wait like, to get into it and of course bring you all along for the uh, journey that we're going to, uh, to, to go on, which we can see up here in the map. And um, just Monkey Island is one of those special series, really. It, it, it like, it really, when that announcement came out, I kind of had, I felt a joy and happiness that I haven't felt in, in such a long time. A childlike whimsy, a, 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 a kind of wonderment. I kind of, I did, I felt like a child, you know, going to see some some big movie at the time you know the first time seeing Jurassic Park and going how did they get how did they make a dinosaur because it looked so real you know um, Monkey Island is a truly special series and I don't think many other games have that same feeling that it has and it really really it put a it put a kick in my step anyway I, I really really felt happy the day that it was announced and I'm really looking forward to playing the series here with you on the channel so um look i'm not gonna wait any longer i know we're about 27 minutes in or so now but basically i'm going to start the game here now with you and um gonna play it on scum vm as i said and there's not much more to say really this is a kind of this is a good moment for me but so uh here we go anyway ladies and gents it's been an absolute pleasure um it's going to be an absolute, sorry, it's going to be an absolute pleasure playing these games for you. But uh, here we are, Scum VM. I'm going to get it up here on the screen on my wonderful CRT. So my CRT is here, as you probably see a bit of flickering light. Hopefully once the game kind of goes into the game, you won't see as much of the flickering on my face. But uh, here we are anyway. We're going to start the Secret of Monkey Island EGA version together. And uh, really looking forward to it. Okay. Here we go, wish me luck. And of course, it's these versions actually that I have. Um, I have downloaded the extra patch for the original EGA, so you'll actually be hearing the MT32 uh, soundtrack. Um, emulated, of course, not for real. Um, I, do, I would like to get a real one at some stage, but they are kind of expensive. And uh, of course, along with that, um, I'm actually not sure what he's going to say there. But anyway, press enter to continue, guys. Here it is, Monkey Island. Let's enjoy this uh, intro music together, and then we'll catch up once the game starts. <laughs> That music is incredible, like... I'm gonna turn it up for myself here a bit. Hi! My name's Guybrush Treepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, I'm over this way. 
Ah. Well then, Triftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush, Threepwood. I see. So you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right, thanks. And here we are, guys. The secret monkey island. Melee island. Oh, the EGA, the EGA art is just so... It's so expressive like you know how can you get that amount of detail and like how can you how can you express something like a sun setting in ega it's incredible work and even like the beach there looks as if there's you know surface water that's just reflecting the last bit of that sunset you know and this sunset actually isn't in any other version of the game it's only in this ega version and as you'll see um, a bit later as we're playing that sunset actually goes away, so it actually it sets into night because, of course, Melee Island, it's nighttime all the time. So let's have a look at this poster here. Governor. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Now, look, I, I might do a bit of voice kind of acting. I might read out the lines because, of course, The Secret of Monkey Island is quite a... It's quite a quiet game as you're playing it. So, uh, like, there's only kind of a couple of choice moments, as you'll see in a minute, where music kind of kicks in and kicks out. Um, so I may do the voice acting. Let me know if it's a bit annoying. If you don't like my voice acting, that's totally fine. I'll stop doing it. Or else I can just read it in my own voice. Um, so let me know down below. Um, and uh, also let me know uh, when you first played Monkey Island as well. Let me know... Uh, let me know what platform it was on and what version, what game you played first. Because I know a lot of people have kind of different stories. So I'd love to hear some of those as I'm playing along. So here we are in the famous Scum Bar. So that's where he told us to go. So I suppose we go into the Scum Bar. Yes, there's the door open. Walk to door. All right, I'm going to take down the volume a little in case it's bleeding into my mic. So anyway, um, here we are in the scum bar. Again, like I, I'm going to be like studying the screens every time I move into a room just so I can see them again and see if there's anything that I've missed in the past. Um, of course, there's lovely tables of pirates. Some of these guys, I believe, you can talk to. There's a big splatter on the room. And I think on a, if you were playing this on a slower computer back in the day, this like this guy actually wouldn't be here spinning around. I think that... I think it was kind of di the engine was able to dynamically take in and take out certain things to make it run better on on systems with less uh, with less power. Of course, we got a little dog down here, and uh, we've got another pirate over here. Sure, look, I suppose we'll talk to a pirate and see how we get on. Hi there, stranger. New in town? Are you a pirate? Can I be on your crew? Like straight away, just I want to. He so badly wants to be a pirate that he's like, let me be on your crew. Um, look, I'll tell him. I'll definitely tell him my name. My name is Guybrush Treepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Treepwood. Ha <laughs> ha It's the stupidest name I ever heard. I don't know. I kind of like Guybrush. Guybrush. Like Guybrush is a great name. Um, and it kind of came about as the story goes. Um, some people say, say, or some people were kind of thinking that it was a a guy dot brush, but uh, it actually is. The file name was Guybrush dot uh, whatever the the extension was for uh, Deluxe Paint at the time. So it isn't guy dot brush. He wasn't a guy. 
a guy dot brush file. He was a guy brush, and a brush was a type of thing that you could use um, to quickly copy and paste um, uh, shapes and stuff like that in Dulux Paint back in the day. Yeah, it's pretty dumb, isn't it? Nah, no, Guybrush is a good name. I'm insulted. Goodbye. Right, okay. Well, what's your name? My name is Man Come Seek Good, and a smile goes from his face right away. So what brings you to Melee Island anyway? I love that Melee Island TM. Why did you come to Melee Island? That's one thing, we don't really know how he got to Melee Island. Now, in later games, they kind of explain that he may have washed up on the shore of Melee Island, but we don't actually know very much about Guybrush's past. We may learn some stuff as we play along, but here we are. Go on, I'll just tell him the truth. I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley? Her mansion is on the other side of town. Pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. <laughs> I'm welcome everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm welcome everywhere I go! <laughs> Whatever you say. Just watch out for those guard dogs. Uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat so you'll have to excuse me. What a great name for drinks. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Have fun on Mil Melee Island, TM. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't really know what Melee was, so I used to call it Mealy Island. Mealy Island. Um, he doesn't want to bother these pirates. I'll turn off all these pirates. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Right, I'm going to close this door as well. It's getting a bit drafty. Okay, let's have a look at these pirates. I don't think it's wise to wake a, sweep, a sleeping pirate. I think I agree with him. Pick up. We'll pick up this pirate. I can't pick that up. I suppose he's too heavy. He can't interact with this guy. Yeah, it's really... It's just really nice. Oh. What are you looking at me for? I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah, so what? Why aren't pirates welcome at the governor's house? Because of the chuck, that's why. He's he's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. Then things got really ugly. How did he die? He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island, Tien. <laughs> but a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that was the end of the fearsome pirate of Chuck. We were wrong. What is the secret of Monkey Island, Tien? Chuck knows. Well, Chuck knows the uh, secret of Monkey Island. He still sails between the, the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That's why we're all in here and not out pirating. Kind of channeling a bit of a... I don't know who I'm channeling there for this guy's voice. But he, lo like, he looks really worried, doesn't he? These EGA um, uh, close-ups as well actually were changed for the VGA. They're kind of like way more detailed in the VGA and I actually again I, I think I prefer the EGA look about them they kind of look more a bit more fun a bit more cartoony or something it's amazing what like what what Mark Ferrari and Steve Purcell were able to do with 16 colors like it's incredible isn't it um where can I get a drink a drink you could wait for the cook to notice you but that's that could take all day. I'm trying to channel in Clint Eastwood. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That's what we all do. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one in here anymore. Why am I channeling? There's a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. 
Look, this whole Lechuk thing has me pretty shaken up. So if you don't mind. I want to know what happened to Zoe. He looks pretty shook up. I better leave him alone. Lechuk, he just... He puts the fit of the... Fit of the wooblies into people. Right, I suppose there's another pirate here, isn't there? Oh, yes. Cobb. Is he out of, uh... Inception. Cobb. Hi. Nice hat. So tell me about Loom, and that was a little joke. Go on, so tell me about Loom. <laughs> okay, it lights up. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy story tale from Lucasfilm TM by Brian Dur Moriarty DM? Why, well, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic advertisement. Stunning high resolution, 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Elegant point and click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom TM today. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, his face just lights up like to tell you everything about it. As you said, no, really. Do, do truly tell me, ladies and gents, if uh, my voice acting is annoying. And I'm happy to happy to tone it down. I can I can be way more. Uh, I can I can read out the stuff for you and read it in my own voice. But uh, I'm gonna try put characters' voices to these things for the, for the fun of it. I'm gonna try to obviously do my best Dominic Armato impression. And I'm not a great voice actor, obviously, as you can tell. So I'll be kind of going in and out of different things. Right. Nice hat. Okay. I. I yourself. I. <laughs> Nice talking to you. Hi. Brilliant. Lovely. And there's no, I don't think there's anybody else here to talk to. <laughs> no thanks, I can't stand a salesman when you're in for a treat later on. Guy brush. So you can actually talk to this dog as well. Which I think is quite funny. Ah. Ruff. Ruff. A roof. Arf. Woof woof. Arf woof. War roof, a roof woof, lechuk, <laughs> grrrr, woof lechuk, <laughs> war woof woof, roof roof, war roof woof, <laughs> bow roof, governor marley, <laughs> ah woo, ah woo, ruff ruff ruff, <laughs> bow roof 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 roof, a roof, lechuk, our oof of Monkey Island, the end. <laughs> Love it. Um, so that dog, actually, funnily enough, um, uh, was actually on the back. Oh, he's in uh, the back of the original box on a screenshot, and it's a big close-up of the dog. Kind of looks like he looks a little like Snoopy. And um, I don't know why they took it out. They should have kept it in. I wonder did it even did it did it even ever make it into any build of the game. I know there's an interesting video where they talk about the um, kind of making of the of Monkey Island and they've kind of looked through the source code and stuff like that. I love this up here as well, this big skull, skull fireplace. Let's have a walk to it. Warm yourself by the fireplace. Push fireplace. Yeah, I suppose it's a bit too heavy. Can I turn off the fireplace? No, it doesn't seem to work. There's nothing else around here. There's the cook. Right, okay. Let's talk to these pirates and get my mission. My mission. What do you be wanting, bye? Bye. I have to say I mean to kill you all. I want to be a fireman. I mean to kill you all! I used to love that in the games. That you Get lost, boy. You bother us. <laughs> I mean to kill you all! I love it, like... And uh, there's parts in the game, obviously, where... Guy Rush will be scared, and then it'll give you three options or four options of something to say. And uh, it'll be something like, oh, I mean to kill you all, or something like that. <laughs> and he won't say it, he'll actually say, like, he'll say that he's scared, but I, I think that's good. They talked about that, obviously, in the development of the game, in the behind the scenes and stuff, and in podcasts, that the dialogues were kind of a new thing for uh, Monkey Island that they brought in, and... It allowed you to kind of tell more jokes, which clearly works very well. Right, okay, let's talk to them. What do you be wanting, boy? Go on. I want to be a fireman. 
Get lost, boy. You bother us. Look at these boys, like Blackbeard here. Kind of, he, this central guy looks a bit regal, and this guy looks off his face on Grog. How do you be wanting, boy? Go on. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on health because of this whole little chuck thing. So? So no pirates mean no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm... Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. I you can. Well... Alright. But you don't just become a pirate by asking. You'll have to go through... The three trials. What three trials are those? My voices are all over the place. There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must pass the sword, the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword play, thievery, and uh, treasure hunting. <laughs> then return with proof you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. That's m grog, grog, grog. That's the most important thing, I suppose. <laughs> You're a bunch of foul-smelling grog, swilling pigs. <laughs> to be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling grog. <laughs> Brilliant, I love the way the music cut out there, that was, uh, that was very good. What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene, artificial sweeteners, I don't know why you, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Sorry, my voices are all over the place. It's, it's hard when there's more than one character talking to keep. Uh, even though they have it nicely color-coded for each of the characters. Um, okay, go on. Tell me more about the mastering of the sword. I think I won't bother with the voice acting. First get you your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh. You'll want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on the sword master without any training. Har 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 har. Okay, tell me about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to produce a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. You know, I'm kind of putting an American accent. For a particularly vicious breed, you might be able to drug them or something. Okay. Tell me again about pilfering the idol. Such wonderful, colourful words, isn't it? Tell me more about treasure hunting. <laughs> Why am I doing this voice? Legend is there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. No problem. Should I have a map or something? You can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. Ha 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 ha. Not according to Indiana Jones. Okay, so I need master sword fighting. I need to pile for the idol um, at the governor's mansion. And I need to find the last treasure. Go on, I'll be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Sorry, I'm making a bit of noise on my hand. Come on, we're going to the kitchen. Hey! He can't come back here. 
fine. Okay. Mm. I'll just wait for him to leave. I'll stand by the fireplace here and warm myself. Look at fireplace. Cozy. There he is. Look at him. And he's gone. Oh, he spotted me. Don't go into the kitchen. Good luck. My right, door closed. Let's have a look around here. Barrel. Look at. Jesus, these, these scenes are so, ni so nice. I think it's full of that foul-smelling pirate drink. Okay. It's like some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Okay. Oh, pot. Look at pot. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. It's a head cheese. Look at table. I don't see anything special about it. Pick up table. Can't pick that up. Pot of stew. It's boiling hot. Let's pick up the pot of stew and burn my hand. It's boiling hot. Can't do it. So do I need to... Do I need to, like, make that cool, maybe? I love this. 16 colors is all I needed. A fish. Look at fish. I think it's a herring. A red herring. <laughs> pick up fish. I think that, bur that bird will pick my hand off. So obviously if I go away, does he go away? No, he kind of stays there. Right, I'll try to pick up the pot anyway. So I have a pot now in my inventory. Look at pot. Okay. Um, I'll pick up the hunk of meat. So I have a hunk of meat now. And can I put... I don't think I can use the pot with the barrel, but... <laughs> I don't want that much. Okay. Or I have a hunk of meat anyway. Can't do anything with the bird. I think I can get kicked out of the kitchen. I'm just gonna wait around and see. I can walk out here. Oh! Huh. That's kind of cool. Just <laughs> pop out. That's obviously better than it was. I suppose I can probably pick that up as well, can I? Go on, pop them up. So this is a time-based puzzle. And I've got my fish and the bird is very ha unhappy. I think it's a herring. There he is now. Little bird. Go on, we'll pop him up one more time. Oh, the plank's stuck. <laughs> the plank's stuck. It doesn't do it anymore. The puzzle is gone. I was convinced your man... Um, your man comes in. He doesn't want to put that much in. Hunk of meat with stew. Oh. Stewed meat. Pick up meat and stew. Stewed meat. Ouch. Got it. He burnt his hand on it. Right. Look at stewed meat. It's some sort of meat or meat light substance and it's now stewed. Okay. Your man was gone for a very long time. Look at curtain. He doesn't see anything special about it. Okay, go on. We'll finally leave the scum bar. We spent definitely enough time in there. Um, we'll open door. So this episode is probably going to be a bit longer. Um, meanwhile, a bit longer than the usual episodes. Uh, deep in, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Look at that. Like three, There's about three colors there. And it's just to be able to... Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah... There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. I can't do LeChuck, like LeChuck's voice is class. No, sir, nothing, nothing like it. Uh, sir, I... It's days like this to make you want to be glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir, glad to be dead, yeah. You're glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murder me and everybody on board. <laughs> yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island, TN. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. How does he know? Actually, he wanted. To, he wants to be a. He's a pirate wannabe, young inexperienced probably nothing to worry about don't know why I bothered you with it well, I haven't taken care of myself wait 
I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. That's my best of the truck. It's terrible, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. And that piece of music, that 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 Le Chuck team is it's a pump and tune, and there's a couple of different versions in a couple of the games to kind of slow it down and speed it up and stuff. Go on, I'll be nice. Look, I I'm I'm a pleasant pirate. I'll close the door. So here we go, I suppose we're going to a melee island town. And again, these long scrolling screens are so cool. And the art is just, it's so vivid or something. Through the archway, here we are. Famous, one of the famous backgrounds of Melee Island. The uh, main, I suppose you could call it the main square, really. You've got a kind of shifty looking pirate. A citizen of Melee. Hey, don't mess with my rat. I didn't do anything. Brock! Oh, you, you can't. I, I'm not even pressing anything. You can't even put the uh, the pointer over. I'm not going to warn you again. Leave the rat alone. Okay, we'll come back to them boys. We'll have a talk to this pirate. We'll have a look at him. We'll see how he looks. And I like that there's people moving around. What are you looking at? Okay. Um, I'm going to push him. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to do that. Turn on. I'll turn you on, baby. Oh, do these lights come on and off as well as as, as t time goes on? Interesting. Right, okay, go on. We'll talk to this man. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? <laughs> what? I once had a barber named Dominique. It's close to Dominic Armato, isn't it? Who voices Guybrush now at this stage. And has done for years. Um... Uh, what? What? <laughs> Never mind. Good night. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't remember this. Excuse me, but do... Oh, it's only you again. My cousin Sven sends his regards. I see. Let's talk business. <laughs> you want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, TM? Have to get that TM in every, every time. Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. <laughs> I like this character. Only a hundred pieces of eight. A hundred fucking pieces of eight for a map? Go on, man. Fuck off. <laughs> Um, no thanks, I don't have enough money. Very have my money. Well then, buzz off kid, it's bad for business, sir. Uh. And, yes, so like my friend Patrick who runs Hit the Snake and there's a good couple of videos of me over there as well. Um, if you're feeling adventurous, if you're enjoying this uh, series so far, we'll come back to this man. Um, basically... Uh, I, th I think I might be wrong now but I think I introduced him to Monkey Island He uh, comment below Patrick if you're watching and let me know whether I did or did not um, did or did not introduce him to Monkey Island I believe I did but curse Monkey Island for some reason I think that's probably maybe one of his favourite in the series but he did also play Monkey Island 2 I remember when I was uh, quite sick when I was a young man I remember I was kind of lying in a bed in a corner and he, he had uh, Monkey Island 2 up and I was kind of Helping him along with some puzzles and some of the puzzles he, he was figuring out fine on his own. I think if I go into these doors, I kind of move around the location here. Oh no, right, we'll, we'll go out of there for a moment. I thought if you went through the doors, open door, that some of the doors bring you to different doors. Like that now, yeah, I went straight out. I think it's randomized. There you go, yeah, and I'll come out a door down here. It's interesting. Anyway, let's have a look at this rat again. Hey man! Frank! Make him quit it! Ah, look ah, now, look what you did! <laughs> I made his rat run away. Oh, you poor boy. Walk to the men of low moral fiber. Okay, go on. 
How did that fear some beast is gone we can talk? Do you, do you guys know the sneaky looking man in the opposite corner? Say, are you guys pirates? Go on, I'll apologize about the rat. That was that was uncalled for. I'm sorry about the rat. Do you like rats? Uh, every vo I'm just giving the same voice to everybody now at this stage. What kind of voice does this man have? Do you like rats? Yeah. Do you like rats? Would be up there. Do you like rats? <laughs> um, especially in a light wine sauce. Go on. Yes. <laughs> yes, especially in light, light wine sauce. Ah, <laughs> get away! <laughs> okay, right. So I have to plumas this guy. Is it? <laughs> I apologize for what I said about rats. <laughs> They're very intelligent creatures. Look at the man up there in the corner. Aha, Mark. What's Mark? Mark. More intelligent than him. Why there's a story around these parts of the bunch of rats I can grow from a ship up in the fabled monkey island. No, that's not right. That was actually a group of monkeys. Do you know this guy here? Actually reminds me of David Fox. I don't know if you know who David Fox is. He's he's one of he's the creator of uh, Zach McCracken, and he's work, currently working on the new Monkey Island uh, with Ron and team. And uh, I always thought this guy kind of looked like David Fox. No, no way could a bunch of stupid monkeys go to ship. I don't know. Monkeys are pretty intelligent. We are monkeys ourselves, descendants. That's amazing. I think Guybrush is like bright eyed and mushy trail it's bushy tailed. But true. When they arrived they sold the ship for a pretty penny. I'm not gonna do that high voice anymore. Only time I've ever seen anyone get a deal better off old Stan. I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the uh, sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Oh, they're selling maps. Our maps are top quality, not like the birdcage liners you get from the clown across the street. Let's shift the eyes on him. <laughs> no, just kidding. These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting in the Melee Island PTA. TM. Can't even give them away. Want one? No thanks. No, I must be on my way. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Let's see if I can uh, cut him out of two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> so he's going to give me two... He gave me a map and two pieces of eight. Uh, say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troop. <laughs> but some idiot chased our train right away. <laughs> And they're looking at him. Shut up. And that guy never talks. Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off of a rack. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not a ship looting, pillaging and sacking and that sort of thing? What's in the keg? Go on, what's, what's in the keg? Rum, jam. <laughs> jam, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favourite. Everybody knows that. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. I, I, I had a do good Dominic Ar Marmato already. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not a ship looting, pillaging, sackling and that sort of thing? Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island, TM. So we've been pursuing alternative means of self-support. Self We're trying to start us up a circus. It was all working well until that rat scared off the elephant. And now some jerk scared off the rat. He's standing right in front of you. And now you've depressed us. Go home. What home do I have to go to, though? The minutes of the meeting. Look at. There sure have a lot of. There sure are a lot of spelling errors, and two pieces of eight. Look, I have two pieces of a whole eight. I have two pieces of eight. That's fucking great, Guybrush. <laughs> Excuse me for my language. 
It's incredible though. Uh, like uh, obviously, if you compare this to the VGA version, like the uh, Guybrush is it looks quite sunburned in this uh, the EGA version. But like to be able to kind of conjure up, I think because there was more blue colors or something like that than there was any other color in the sixteen color EGA palette. That like they were really able to make like it's so fucking detailed and vivid for what it is, you know. Right, let's look at the archway because I believe it's always it's always ten o'clock on uh, Monkey Island. We'll see if that changes. Um, right, let's talk to this citizen again and see if we can get anything more of him. Excuse me, but do oh, it's only you again. Come back for the treasure mm, for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Monkey Melee Island, TM. I hope you brought enough money this time. No oh, thanks, I don't want it. Not enough money, eh? <laughs> Come back when you're serious about treasure hunting, kid. And uh, <laughs> it sounds like fucking Abe Sprinkler. Look at the guy up there. I'm looking at the window. It's kind of cool. Okay, sure. Look, we'll go in. Open the door to this next room. Oh, lovely. This piece of music is lovely as well. So, of course, those of you who are in the know will know exactly whose house this is. Let's have a look around. Look at these chickens. Poor chickens. Let's, go, let's see if I can talk to the chickens. Talk to the chickens. Use chickens. No thanks, I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Right, look at baskets. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. Baskets. Why am I? Why do I keep going down with that? Look at statue. Kind of emaciated, Charles Atlas. Oh yeah, it is kind of like Atlas. Atlas holds the world. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. I actually turn down that music a bit more. Hopefully it's not bleeding too much into the mic. But yeah. So as I said, the, you know, as you can see, the music is kind of sparse at times in the game, but um, great music. Walk to coach. Look at coach. It's comfortable in a spooky sort of way. Yeah, it's kind of... Dominic Marado always kind of... No, 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 no. Up, up. Are we up? So that's what I'll try to do with Guybrush. Again, if it's annoying the shit out of you guys, just let me know down in the comments. Look at voodoo knickknacks. Let's see, there's a jar of dripping... A bat drippings? A box that says assorted scales, a shaker full of monkey flakes, and some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? How about Beric? Yeah, that's a, I think that's a reasonable guy rush there now. More chickens. More chickens. Look at this chicken over here. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Oh, look at the bones. The, them bones, them bones. Poor little thing. Whatever it was. I presume it was another chicken. Can I pick up the bones? No thanks, I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. A chalice. It's like the cup of Christ. Now this is the cup of a carpenter. I was right. Okay, can we pick up the cup of a carpenter? No, no, he just doesn't want to... Oh, there's a separate basket all and so on. Look at the basket. Hmm, I think I hear slithering inside. Um, I, again, like, to just look at the art and what he was capable, like Mark Ferrari, what he was capable of doing with not only 16 colors, there's less than 16 colors in this scene, right? And, like, between the use of black, so he's using, like, the contrast and color to outline things and it's so it's just vivid as all hell to me anyway like it's incredible incredible work what he could get done with such little um with little colors and using light and shade crazy good crazy crazy good okay so i suppose i'm gonna pick up the chick the rubber chicken and pulley and see maybe no one will miss just this one thing should I try open the um, open the basket? Open these baskets, maybe. Actually, I'm not that curious to find out what's inside. Probably poisonous snakes. Open the basket. No thanks. Something probably will jump out and bite me. So 
look at the rubber chicken. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. It's true, like, what, what, what juice would you have a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle for? Yeah, okay. Things are going well. I have a few nice items here. But so, yeah, as you can see as well, there actually isn't any um, uh, items. And what happens is that once I have more than this um, items, a little arrow system will come up and I can scroll up and down between them. So, like, that is one of, the, I think, the positive changes of the original EGA version to the uh, VGA, VGA version and beyond. Um, and also then they brought down these verbs from, what, 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, some 12 down to 9, I think it was, because, like, you know, turn on, turn off, probably weren't really useful. Um, and use, again, like, you know, open, close, use kind of is the same thing. You use the door, you know what I mean? You open and close the door. Okay, I think if I walk this direction, or can I? Oh, here she is. But may I help you with some? Now I'm going to be really terrible at doing the voodoo lady. I do love the voodoo lady's uh, voice actor, or whoever they got. Um, that kind of that Caribbean feel. I think it's really nice. I'm not. I'm not even going to try it really, Johnson. I think I'll do a terrible job. Um, my name is Garbage Troop and a mighty pirate you are, yeah. How much for this keen looking chicken? Can you read palms? Am I going to be rich? Go on. <laughs> so, oh, she just caught in. <laughs> my mind reading skills tells me it is your future you're interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? No, don't tell me a thing. Life should be uh, unexpected and exciting. In a way, I kind of agree with that. Go on. <laughs> yes! Tell me everything that's going to happen to me. Guybrush is very eager, I think. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross. Wait. Ah, it's coming all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No! The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come and see me. I'll let you know then. A game like that, just these old... Wow, she just... I didn't, don't remember her disappearing. Um, just the use there of, like... Does she come back when I come back, is it? <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm back and ready to know more about the future. Yes, I'll be going now. Like, just the use of the green here, and the chair is so well done, and the popping. I don't know what it was, like, back in that era of, like, 90s PC games, like, do you know, like, green poisonous poppy drinks, you know? There was always, like, green, and green was bad or good or whatever. Which reminds me of Prince of Persia and stuff. <laughs> Hello? Guess no one's here. Okay. Can I use that couch? No thanks, I never fall asleep in strange places. Can I push the couch? No thanks, I'd rather not touch any of it. Well, that's fair enough. Pick up couch? Yeah, so sorry, I kind of got cut off earlier when I was talking about the lengths of these episodes. This first one I'm going to give kind of a bit of a long episode. I'll try to keep them kind of within about 30 minutes or so. Um, with all the rest of those because I, I kind of don't want people to get um, sick of it quick but this first one I kind of going to get an introduction to um, the island and stuff like that and um, we'll start the little tree trials then in the next episode and stuff we're just kind of getting acquainted to Melee Island first I think hey you come over here let's walk down a strange alley hello this is one of my favorite screens in any Monkey Island game anybody in here hello 
You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, no one would be around to see it. <laughs> oh, really? That's interesting to see it. Uh, did you hear something back here too? <laughs> yeah, bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from mind. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna play coy. I'm gonna play a bit... Play the fool. Did you hear something back here too? No. I better get your name. I'm 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 going a little. I'm Guybert Streepwood, and I was just leaving. I'm Guybert Streepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood, Treepwood, Guybert Streepwood. Whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shine Top. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island to you. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. There's something, yeah, so like this street, this alleyway, this area. For those of you obviously in the know, and I'm going to try not to spoil too much stuff, but this is kind of a curious alley. And it's so memorable. Like, I don't know what it is. Is it this poster? Is it this door? Like, there's something about this alley that just kind of... It's very memorable. And, and I think it's cool. Let's look at the poster back here. Ooh, a circus. I love a circus. Can I pick that up? I can't pick that up. Maybe I can pull it off the wall. Pull the poster. I can't move it. And there's nothing else back here. I can't really walk down there, can I? Yeah. There's a mystery attached to that street. And who knows? Will it be revealed what it all is when we return to Monkey Island? Which... Ron Gilbert as well at the helm again. It's crazy. All right, we've got a kind of a church looking place. Let's have a look at it. Look at the door. I don't see anything special about it. All right, open door. In we go. It's a church, all right. see anything just an exit and that's it again beautiful art like it looks like way more than 16 colors and it just pops it really pops here on the screen as well I exit out out the door so that's the church right we have what looks like a prison and it truly is let's look inside the cell it's locked I've got a prisoner in here. Let's have a look at this prisoner. Looks nervous. Come on, we'll talk to him. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention the halitosis. Yuck. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Come on, let's talk to him again. Talk to dead breath? No thanks. <laughs> right, okay, so I suppose I need to get him some, um... Let's have a look at him now. I need to get him some breath mints, probably. Looks nervous. I will come back there. I'll walk through the archway. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. Governor's, governor's mansion. Let's head to the governor's mansion. Head to the governor's. Head to the governor's mansion. It's a fine-looking building. Just studying these scenes every time I come in. It's so it's so much fun. Right. Okay. Let's look at these deadly piranha poodles. <laughs> I don't think I can get past them. Let's pick up some deadly piranha. <laughs> Talk to them. Woof. Yep, 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 yep. I'd say they're fine. Let's walk up to them. I'm not going near them. But like, I suppose, like, you know, they're dogs. Like, I suppose I could give them meat, could I? Give stewed meat to 
Piranha Poodles. Oh, and they threw a little bit to the one small dog. What? Well, that's it. So, what a, what a waste. What if I give them the minutes of the meeting? I doubt the dogs would want this. You're probably right. Okay, I'm not going near them. And wait, there's nothing back there. Another beautiful screen. Okay, we're going to walk back to town and then I'm going to go out towards the scum bar. And then I suppose we'll head out onto Melee Island proper and we'll have a quick look around. I think we've kind of sufficiently looked around the town of Melee Island. Let's go through this door as well and see if it brings me anywhere. Oh, hello, another shop. I didn't sufficiently look around so by the looks of it. Oh, a sword. Hmm. Look at sign. Ring bell for service. There's the bell. And there's a safe up there. Like Guybrush, I suppose, is a bit of a kleptomaniac, really, in a way. He'll just pick anything you see. Get the handle on your savings with Gripmaster Handles. Open. Safe. It's locked. Handle. Open handle. No, it probably doesn't seem to open. Use handle. Oh, something happened. So can I open the safe? Locked. Okay. So it goes four ways. Okay, right. I don't. I don't really remember this puzzle. If it was a puzzle. Davy Jones lockers. The last word in theft, fire, and grog resistant storage devices. Okay. Locked. Oh wait, so it makes noises. Is that open now with that little noise? Locked. Okay, I have no idea, maybe it's a... Oh, it's probably like a combination of something. Oh, shovel. Go on, shovel. Pick up the shovel. Kleptomaniac. Guybrush strikes again. We'll look at it first. Digmaster. The only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. I'm one of those, so... Say nothing. Say nothing. <laughs> Don't tell the man behind the counter. And a sword as well. Let's see if we can steal that sword. Slashmaster. When you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Go on, we'll pick that up as well. So I got a sword and all now. Jesus Christ. Don't tell anybody I took it, but uh, maybe maybe the man who owns the shop will know before I leave. Go on, we'll ring the bell, so use bell. Oh, here he is. <laughs> it never fails. I step away from the count of two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. He's got, is that a sword that he has using? What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. <laughs> You're telling me? Yeah, take one. Please. Oh, he has a... Take a whole roll! That'll be one piece of eight. I have two pieces of eight, so look, here you go. Um, I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island, TM? I forgot one of the DMs. Hmm, I don't know. Nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Okay, so... Kleptomaniac strikes again. Oh! Looking for the sword master, are you? Looking for a little five finger discount, it looks like to me. <laughs> See if I ever trust you again. Devious little shoplifting weasel boy. 
maybe I'd like to pay for those. Okay, right. About this sword. What about it? I want it. <laughs> That'd be a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. Ah, uh, I don't have enough money. Figures. I'm loving this old man's voice anyway. How else do you want to waste my time? <laughs> about this shovel. What about it? How much is it? Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. <laughs> if that voice is annoying you, I'm telling you, just let me know down in the comments. Um, okay. 75 pieces of eight? <laughs> I'm talking... I don't have that much. And you better go... <laughs> Go put it back. Ah, so I can't. I there's some I can't steal. He's not. He's not allowed to steal, even though Guybrush is young. I suppose he probably comes more of a kleptomaniac in the second game and beyond. Um, yeah. Is there something you can uh, that you can for it? And maybe around here you'll find. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melly Island here. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. <laughs> Don't try to touch anything. I'm fucking, that's my favorite voice. I, ho I hope I can keep that one for that man. Right, we'll follow him, shall we? Oh, there's a bit of music. Follow on. So we're actually gonna find out where the sword master's house is, I suppose. And we'll go. Oh, look, see, the sunset is now gone. I think that's brilliant. Right, we'll walk to the cliff face. He's just after going out of sight. You ever wonder if we're all just characters in the novel? So I think I missed the guy, unfortunately. I think it went the right, wrong way. You almost scared me to death. I thought you were, uh. Never mind. What did you say your name was again? Call me Squinky. Who. Who are you? I'm the lookout. I'm the lookout for me, the island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like to be she doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Chef Shinetop. I'm over here. Eh? Oh. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. The dead one. But that doesn't make him any less dangerous. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck. So uh, there actually is another screen, a reverse of this, that uh, didn't make it into the game and I, I don't think it's in the source code anymore, but there is an old screenshot that the, that some, um, they're kind of a video game preservation society that did an interview with Ron that they found. And it's quite interesting seeing the other side of it, obviously we, we uh, obviously it doesn't really exist um, anymore unfortunately, on the source code anyway. Here we are, there's Melee Island, Melee Island the map. So look, this episode I suppose has been an hour and 20, 30 minutes now. I, I, I really want to keep them reasonably short, I don't want them to be too long. I know this first episode is an introduction. I think it's probably right to end here at the moment. And we can kind of search around the rest of Melee Island in the next episode. 
Um, I'll try to keep these as frequent as I can. And um, please do join along with me and just experiencing a kind of deep dive. Like, I'll, I'll be taking my time with the games. I won't be trying to rush through them and finish them as quick as possible. Um, a lot of the puzzles I probably have even forgotten. Some of them, not all of them. I obviously know what items I probably need to pick up. Well, in a point and click game, you just try to pick up everything, really. That was what I was uh, shown. But I think I'm going to leave it there today, guys. That's uh, a nice, long, meaty episode to start off the series. And uh, I promise, anyway, in the future, the episodes, I'll try to keep them a bit shorter, between 30 minutes, maybe, maybe sometimes 40 minutes. It really depends on what I'm doing in the episode. But um, I just really want to... You know, I wanna, I wanna talk to all the characters. I kind of wanna, I want to explore as much into the game as possible because it's been so long since I've played it, and I'm really enjoying this, um, this playthrough so far. Anyway, it's so nice to just be back, to be back in Monkey Island. It's really wonderful, actually, um, and I can't wait to just keep playing it and play the rest of the series as well, along with it, as I've described. But uh, so we're gonna leave it there today. Um, please share uh, your your thoughts about Monkey Island, how you're feeling about the return to Monkey Island down in the comments below and um, it'll be really really nice to see you the next time, there won't be any intro the next time, I'll just kick straight into where we where, where we left off and um, we'll continue on with the Secret of Monkey Island EGA version, uh, it's, it's so nice to be back and it's so wonderful the return to Monkey Island is coming this year so I suppose I'm trying to fill in the gap as best as I can to have something to do on the lead up to a brand new Monkey Island game with Ron Gilbert, we've got David Grossman, we've got the three, the three uh, horsemen or the three stooges back on music with uh, Michael Land of course, Clint Pachakian and, um, and uh, Peter McConnell. Um, I believe a lot of the artists are all new artists unfortunately so they didn't bring back somebody like Mark Ferrari who I think really would have made a big big impact in the game because his own non-pixel art is amazing as well but uh, I think they've got a great team obviously they've got the, the, your, the kind of main good voice actors back for uh, people like Murray, Denny Delk and uh, of course Dominic Armato as uh, Guy Brush but anyway look I'm just uh, waffling on talking on a bit now um, I hope you're all doing well and I uh, hope to see you in the second episode as well. And just make sure you let me know if you enjoyed the episode. And uh, just just talk to me about Monkey Island. I'm really looking to interact with a couple of people down in the comments. And it'll be very nice to talk to you all. So uh, here we are. And um, I salute you all. Thank you very much. Good evening. <laughs>